like that one. <gasps> it is one! And it's doing it! Sea turtle! Sea turtle! Oh, it's a baby sea, sea turtle! turtle. <laughs> Lily did say lots of pictures. Okay, I'm done. Seagulls? Oh, this is bad. Seagulls are predators of baby sea turtles. Predators? You mean they want to eat it? But it just hatched. He's helpless. Poor turtle, poor turtle, poor turtle. Poor turtle, poor turtle. Grab it. Put it in the water ourselves. Huh? Nash says he wants us to pick it up and bring it to the sea ourselves. That's a great idea. Yay! Nash, wait. In nature, it's best to let creatures do things by themselves. We should only pick them up if there's no other way to help them. <sighs> Go away, seagulls! If we could scare them off, it could give the turtle time to get back to the water. But what are seagulls scared of? Caterpillars? Thunder? Broccoli? Aha! Uh -huh. Seagulls are afraid of hawks. So we'll make hawk sounds. They sound like... Um, uh, nay! Boo! I don't know about hawks, but your farm animal impressions are great, Gorby. Here's what a hawk sounds like. Nash, we need to be way louder to scare them. I've got an idea! Audrey, play the hawk sound through the polar boat speakers as loud as you can. Raising volume to maximum. Now would be a perfect time for a picture. All right, let's take some photos. <laughs> of the sea turtle, I meant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I wonder how many satellites are in orbit. There are thousands. Whoa! What? Whoa! Ah! The satellite we're visiting and many others like it are machines that have been launched into orbit. They send and receive signals to and from the Earth so that we can communicate with each other. Wow! So Corby and Lily's call had to go all the way up here before the signal got sent to us? Not just their call, everybody's calls. And videos. Look! Weather reports! La 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 <laughs> And music. So, without satellites, we can't call our friends, watch shows, or even know if it's gonna rain? Wow. Let's see if we can see what's wrong with this satellite. Hold on. Whoa, wow. There's the problem. Oh, the antenna is bent. It can't send and receive signals from Earth if it's damaged. Well, I guess I better go straighten things out. Wait, you mean the antenna, right? You're going to go straighten out the antenna. <sighs> That's right, Chester, the antenna. Oh, good. Just wanted to make sure. Ugh. Whoa, whoa! Yes, I made it. Great, Marco. Now go over to the bent piece. <sighs> whoa, whoa! <gasps> Ew! Okay, now straighten it, then tighten the bolt so it stays put. Ah! <sighs> it's stuck! <sighs> yeah, Marco, you did it! Way to push! Whoa! 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 Oof. Uh, I'm okay. 
Is it working? Corby, Lily, can you hear me? Hi, Polos! It works! Yeah, <laughs> all right. Way to go, Marco. We're happy to see you, too, because we've got a big problem. What? We forgot to pack spoons. Last time I ate soup without a spoon, it wasn't pretty. Huh? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Message received. We'll bring some. Hey, where's my drill? <gasps> he went outside before he heard me. Marco, Marco come, come in. in! Hey, Willow. Hey, Chester. See any cool sea creatures approaching? I'm ready for my close-up. I think I see something over there. Oh, yeah! It looks like a whale. It's pretty big, too. I think I better go back to the polymerine. Basking shark approaching. Basking, Basking shark? Ah! Wait, Bulls, wait! It's okay. Basking sharks are not dangerous. But his mouth is wide open. And it's coming this way. Whoa! Don't worry. The basking shark swims with a wide open mouth so it can eat plankton. There are the teeny tiny plants and animals that you can find everywhere in the ocean. Huh? Oh, nice! Wow! Okay, basking shark, say plankton! Nope, too blurry. Wait, basking shark, come back! I need to take a better one! Shark approaching. Yes! The basking shark is back! This one isn't a basking shark. Its mouth isn't as big. Then what kind is it? Audrey, we need a closer look. <gasps> a a great, great white shark. shark! The biggest predator shark there is. You mean the kind that eats sea lions, fish, and seals? I'm coming in! I have an idea. Why don't we give you a hand? I'm swimming as fast as I can! Whoa! Thanks, Willow. Thanks, everyone. Hey, Marco. Great white sharks have five rows of long, sharp teeth. Close to 300 teeth in total. Great white sharks are cool and all, but I don't need to see their teeth that close. Sorry you didn't get the shark picture you wanted, Marco. Not yet I haven't, but I will in a few seconds. Really? How? With my camera. That I left outside. Great White Shark! Great White Shark! Now that's a Polo's picture. Oh. <laughs> 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 Made it! Prepare for landing! Chester. It's okay, Lily. It's not your fault. I didn't want to play with blocks anymore anyway. <laughs> Great flying, Willow. That asteroid really stuck up on us, huh? Well, we won't let that happen again. Warning, warning, warning. Asteroid approaching. Oh! Okay, so an asteroid snuck up on us twice. Definitely not a third time. <gasps> See? <laughs> it's okay, everyone. That bump was just another asteroid hitting ours. <laughs> another one? But I thought all the asteroids were super far apart. They are, but sometimes they cross paths. And wham! They break up into smaller pieces. It's been happening for millions of years. It's just what asteroids do. It 
is, isn't it? Chester, you're rebuilding your toy? I am. Well, what if it breaks again? Oh, it will for sure. But I won't let it bother me because I like playing with blocks. It's what I do. Me too. <laughs> well, I'd rather not be surprised by another asteroid again. So I'm buckling up, just in case. Me do, me do. Polos, we are not getting surprised by another asteroid. Uh-oh, Willow, please get us out of here before I say anything else. <laughs> So an asteroid belt isn't what keeps their pants from falling down. <laughs> but maybe asteroid tape will help keep their pieces together. Corby, <laughs> <laughs> that's really silly. We gotta keep up to it. But not too close. Just close enough so I can see its camouflaging skills in action. Wanna take the wheel, Gorby? Do I? <laughs> I mean... Do you want to drive? Oh, <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> hmm, the octopus must have gotten scared again and camouflaged itself. How can we get close enough to watch it without scaring it? Hmm, stop the polymerine! <laughs> I'm having an engineering moment! Huh? That means she's got a great idea for something to build. Finished. <laughs> Gorby, would you please press the button? Oh! Boom! Whoa! Amazing! Our polo marine is camouflaged! Thanks, Willow! Now we can get close to the octopus without it noticing us! Along with any other cepha... cepha... Lepods! Yes, cephalopods who might swim by. <gasps> Look! There's the octopus again! <gasps> It's uncamouflaging. It doesn't see us anymore. You're better at hide and seek than you thought, Gorby. Hey! Go! 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 <laughs> <laughs> nice work, Nash. Now we're blending anywhere. Even in a herd of zebras. Octopuses, cuttlefish, and squid Chain sheep in color Just so they stay hidden Disappearing right before your eyes It's nature's best disguise Oh, you're so sneaky Cephalopods Masters of mystery All because of camouflage These cool creatures They know how to blend in any setting, like coral, rocks, and sand. They can change the texture of their skin. There they go again. Oh, you're so sneaky, cephalopods. Masters of mystery, all because of camouflage. I bet she can see me, cephalopods. Looking like seaweed, all because of, all because of. Great work, Polos. There's just one last thing left to do. Lift off! Whoa! Wait, we're lifting off already? Not yet. We're training to lift off. I'm flying us in a test loop to show us what it feels like to lift off. Whoa! Really fast, this is what we'll feel. High G forces. This means we'll feel heavier. Oh, wow. 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 And when we get to space, this is what we'll feel. Low G forces. We'll feel lighter. 
like we're weightless. Yeah, won't that be fun, Willow? Oh, I won't be floating, Marco. This pilot's got to stay focused. Is everyone feeling okay? I'm good. Yay! Affirmative. Great, then we're ready to be Astro Polos. Audrey, change to Polo Galactic and begin countdown, please. Polo Galactic launch in five, four, three, two, one, liftoff. Off complete. Welcome to space, Polos. You may now unbuckle your seatbelts and begin floating around in the cabin. Hey! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Willow, you've got to try this. Weightlessness is the best. I'm sure it is, but someone has to pilot the ship. Set it on autopilot. That's just for emergencies. It doesn't have to be. But I always fly the ship. Okay, if you're sure. Oh, oh, this is awesome! Yeah. I'm flying! Look at me! Look at me! Being weightless looks like fun! Woo! Woo! Ha! <laughs> ah, woo! Hmm. Oh! Maybe I could use the autopilot just for a few seconds. Audrey? Autopilot for me, please. Autopilot activated. <gasps> wow! Hello. <laughs> I'm sure glad you could make it. Me too. On Earth, gravity keeps our feet on the ground, but in space, being weightless rocks. 